Good morning, beautifuls. It is August 13th, 10 degrees only. It's a little moist. The sun is shining, and welcome to the vlog. I don't know what's going on down the road. It might be at the trucks, or it might be the hydro guys. <laughs> they did a lot of, um, they fixed a lot of the poles around town, so that's a good thing. They won't be falling over. Good morning. I hope your morning is wonderful. Welcome to the vlog. I just said that. Yeah. So I'm standing here. The sun on my back feels so good. Um, I was really, really happy about that. It feels good. Uh, a couple of days of rain that we needed. But according to a couple of the farmers around here, not enough. But I put some wet water in our barrel, so that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, things are growing, things are being, the hummingbirds are humming, the flowers are blooming. Is this a pink poppy? Oh! Red, pink, blue. I love how the colors of this garden are coming up. Ooh, look how red that one is. It's lush. Lush, lush, lush. And the fantastic thing is I've seen hummingbirds on every single one of these flowers up here. So I don't know if it's because they're good for hummingbirds or if they're just greedy little buggers. And then they sit on this hawthorn bush that may or may not be alive. And they sit on the gojis because they're pokey. So I'm just babbling on here. I need to find a moment of beauty and a moment of gratitude. And normally I figure this out before I pick up my tablet. Um... <laughs> My moment, my moment. Let's go talk about my moment. This abundant garden right here, I am very grateful for. It, we have fruit, we have vegetables growing, we have edible flowers, we have flowers that attract pollinators for our other plants. We're providing oxygen, regeneration, regenerative, we're trying to regenerate the soil. So this is my moment of beauty. This is my project of beauty and I appreciate it so much but this is my project of beauty um, there's a little butterfly coming in actually a nice orange one so when I grow my herbs and my flowers and my vegetables out here it allows me to feel like I'm producing something for others hello hummingbird at the red feeder um, these guys are so funny so it's just things like that um, where I can feed the birds with the columbine in the winter time, which is, yeah, it looks ugly right now, but in the winter, when the snow is up past that rock, my birds are eating. So this just helps me feel like I'm, I'm helping nature along. Um, bees, birds, butterflies, our pollinators are so important to our cycle, our food cycle, our health cycle, and we need them. And um, quite honestly, I live around a farming community, so there's a lot of spraying going on. So it is it's my duty. <laughs> Hear me escalate this. This is my, my section of beauty because this is where I feel like I'm making an ecological difference to the insects and the wildlife around me. So I'm looking out for the bugs. I did have to move my strawberries because those little buggers were getting at it. Okay, so this is my moment of beauty. Let's go talk about my moment of gratitude. So these are my chickens. Um, they're my companion chickens. We originally have three. So that is Bunty, that is Patches, and that is Betty. We actually got four, but one of our Bettys died. We were going to order chickens for the Bear Family Farms channel, which is our whole progression on why we came out here. Um, and so we've raised these chickens from the time that they, these little guys here, from the time that they were maybe a week old. We did a big road trip, we went and got chickens, we had them in the house, we're raising them right now. Now the thing is, is there's a limitation on how many we're allowed to have in town. 
obviously this is too many when we had bought them we had people lined up to buy them from us but those people have since moved away anybody want a chicken um, so we're just looking to sell them to get our money back that we put out because <laughs> we were just the messengers so my gratitude moment today <laughs> Um, it carries on with the life cycle and what are you yelling about? I don't have any more buns for you. You've already had morning treats. Bunty, did you get your morning pets? Bunty wants pets. Hi. Shh. Their um, birthing rate is 90%, so we may have a rooster in here. We just don't know yet, but I haven't seen any like signs of roosterism. <laughs> they sound like ducks sometimes. Ooh, his bat's comb is coming up nice but separate Ooh. so anyways my moment of gratitude is these girls um, every day since we've had our main girls we've had eggs these girls give me a reason to put proper clothes on I'm not kicking at you baby to put proper clothes on to come out and to tend to my chicken duties this is the start of our farm and people laugh at me they're like you're in town this isn't a farm compared to where we were this is hella great and so these ladies every morning they talk to me they yell at me we have breakfast well i feed them a bun oh they're looking at the thing <laughs> okay these chickens there is a reflection on my tablet that's on the wall. And these chickens are acting just like cats watching it. Let's see if I can do it with my phone. Oh, that was so funny. Um, but yeah, as far as these chickens go... Okay, here's my phone. Can I get the reflection? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. Somebody's getting it. Okay, so... You know how you do the reflection of light thing, right? Can I get this going here? Oh, man, that was so funny. They were all watching it like a cat. Okay, so anyways, back to my moment of gratitude because these girls very much distract me. Um, I'm grateful because I give them love and they come running to me in the morning. Um, they were caged chickens, egg producers that have now been able to run around outside like the two browns and the white. Um... So we've been able to do that for them and they gave us eggs and The funny thing is is that before we moved out here I had to stop eating eggs because they were upsetting my belly so the commercial eggs like Eggs that you get from the corner store from the grocery store. You sound like a duck Hey, um, oh, they're right all over that Oh my gosh, I gotta show you that. Sorry, I'm just messing with them now. But since we've been raising our own chickens, I have been able to eat eggs. So these guys give us food. We grow food, we give it to them, and they give us food in return. And every morning I go and I weed my little gardens, and I have a little loop that I do. You see them all pulling apart the grass and their compost there. Uh, they get dandelions, flowers kitchen scraps these girls are just they're it and I absolutely love them and I am so grateful for them it's um as you know I do have I suffer depression and so finding ways to live and be peaceful and happy about it girls you don't want that big piece um and finding ways to to do things and I tell you on some some mornings you don't feel like getting dressed, you don't feel like eating, you don't feel like doing anything. These girls get my ass out of, out of the house. They get me into the fresh air. It's my responsibility to feed them. Like It's different if you have a dog or something because you can just sit inside and feed it. But these girls make me get up and get out and get dressed. So this is one of the ways that I actually... I am so... Oh, there's a feather. Move your bum. Move, Patches. I'm so grateful for them. Because I have to be responsible for them. <laughs> I know it sounds really feeble. Um, but yeah, they're my little babies. 
doing what you got to do to get through the day is what we do here, right? So here's my happy, gra great, grateful gratitude moments. These guys are perpetual food makers. Every day I get three eggs from my older girls. So it's... <laughs> It's a moment to be grateful for, and I am grateful that I can share it with you guys, <sighs> because this is just so special. I love my chickens. Okay, let's see if I can make this, make them go crazy with the reflection. I just have my phone, right? So let's see if I can find some light here. I think we may have missed our opportunity. They're like, camera, let's perform. Oh, there we go. So you see the light over there? Oh, that's so funny. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Can I get it going this way? Can I get it over this way? Up down. Oh, how to keep your chickens busy. Oh, they like that. Back the wall. Back the wall, silly girls. Up. And send it back over in the corner there. Okay, so yeah, that's what my chickens were chasing when they all, all of a sudden went to attention. So here we are. Um, thank you for listening to me babble about my moments of beauty and gratitude. And I really, really hope that it helps you get through the day. Hello, babies. And we're not going to have these chickens for, for a lot longer. So we might as well enjoy them while we've got them all. Dude, you've got... There you go. Silly things. So here we are. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me. Celebrating the beauty. Celebrating my chickens and the garden. It is an honor to be able to share this stuff with you guys. And um, I love you. And I hope your day is great. Happy Wednesday. It's dance day, which also makes me happy. I have to design my class still. I'm a little slacking on last week. Don't poop on your friend. Ew. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Happy, happy chickens. I hope your day is great. I love you guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Mwah. Bye. Say bye, ladies.